Here's the new tar road, by the way. I'm just on the way to football, but that's it. Done and dusted. Still got this cordoned off. We can open it in the morning. That'll be fine. Smashing. That'll make a lot of difference. This curve here, screwing of the tyres just ruined the planings, especially with the heavy winter we've had. Tulips are looking at top notch. Nice row of pink ones. They've just come out. Car park here. Obviously, because this road... Oh, just gone and raked all that. Because um, this road has been built up by six inches whatever it is there's now a kind of lip there we should have in hindsight put a tar wee ramp in there wherever the car is going to go in because that's forever going to be an edge where the planings just get dragged away which is a bit annoying in hindsight we should have done that hey ho if we're ever doing anything else we'll come and tar a ramp in there can you get kind of tar yourself delivered get a wee roller on higher and just do it ourselves we ramp there we ramp there and a wee ramp further up This is our current roller. Probably could do with getting an old second-hand ride-on roller. I'll maybe have a look online. Couldn't justify anything expensive, but see if there's anything old and knackered kicking about. I mean, these tires are better than the old tires at rolling stuff in like this. The nobles that stick out have more surface area than agri tires, that pattern. You guys suggested when you're doing bits like this or filling in potholes to spray some diesel over the top of it. I guess it probably loosens off the oil that's in the tar and lets it bind together again, I presume. Maybe go and spray a bit of diesel over that. We've got a speed bump put in here because this is like a runway. Before we tarred it and it was all potholy, it was like a runway. So now that it's tarred, there'll be some serious speed gain down there. So hopefully put them off with a bit of a speed bump. I'm unsure if this is one of my bad ideas. But chuck a wee bit of diesel in here, spray it on the planings, jobs are good in. Don't tell Greta, water with a red dye. That's what it is here, no questions asked. I hope the water I've put into this uh, knapsack isn't bad on the seals. This might be one of my worst ideas ever. I'm gonna get flung in jail like the man who cleaned the river. Mental that. Cleaner ever, get thrown in jail for a year. Done. Will it help? Hope so. A man on the internet, or a woman on the internet, said it works, so it must be true. That water smells awful like diesel. There you go. And they're off. You've not figured it out. Just not, no. Thank you. Where are you going? Okay, I need to go and hurry up and catch you. Big lad Euro, he's starting to look a bit better now from when he was outside with the Highlanders. He kind of melted a wee bit, lost quite a bit of condition. We've been beefing him up a wee bit. He's not far off where I want him to be. He's roaring for coos so. though. Guys, do not let her move in. She demands new wardrobes and space and oh, disaster expense. Flipping heck. This was my old wardrobe that did me fine. Gate lady moves in, wardrobe moves out, and a new one gets built. Flipping heck. We've had four cows hanging on for ages. There's one of them. It's been about two and a half, three weeks since we've had anything calf. Ten seconds ago, one calf. Ten minutes ago, another calf. Amazing. One left to go. What a lovely big calf. Good mother straight in licking. Same with the other one. Good big calf. Mother's doing well. A few hours later, this calf, lump of a calf, big calf, had a good drink. Happy days. And so is that calf. It's just been drinking. I think, these, <laughs> I think they've swapped. I think this calf is drinking off the wrong mother. That one is with that one. This one is with this one. Right, what I've done, I've just split the calves apart because they were both going to the same mother because she's a bit stubborn. I'll give them a couple of hours like that. If she still doesn't get on well with the calf, 
put her in a headstock and just get the calf to soak properly. This The calf has had a drink, but from the wrong mother. We've got another drain we've been in at. So when the guys were putting the fences up here, they drove their tract machine up the barley here, nailed that stake in, and then all of a sudden there was water bubbling up here in the field. So we thought whether something had been hit there and it was just surfacing there what had happened they'd came up here with a track machine and it had obviously crushed a tile and choked it and it was bubbling up so we checked it the other day to see what it was and it was this drain so we just left it for now because it wasn't anything serious it wasn't a burst pipe so kev's just been at it cleared out a track so i think he's just coming down with some tiles yep got some tiles there that are kicking out and then we'll put the tiles in there and that'll get the drain moving again and fill it in again it feels quite low here the tiles only really 12 inches at a push under the surface, at a push. Right, recently we've changed to Andy Law Pest Control, the boss man. <laughs> anyway, we've been getting on great. Rats and vermin are gone. There's a wee advert for Andy Law. If you're needing rat control, where do you travel to? Just all over the east of Scotland. East of Scotland. Anywhere east of Scotland, give him a call. His number is, that's his number. Just moved to Andy Law about eight, 10 months ago. We just, who were with before, I'm not going to call them out. They weren't really interested. They weren't doing a good job. Tried them for a bit. And to be honest, it's so much better. We get bother at the hens, especially with vermin. They've absolutely nailed them, to be fair. So I do recommend them. I wouldn't show them on the videos if I didn't recommend them. Right, Kev's dropped off some tiles. Those two are bigger than these ones. So we'll get them in. Get this moving again. I'm not filming today, but what me and Kev have been at, Pulled this tile drain out, it was cracked and demolished in here, so pulled this all out, cleaned it all out, it was all filled with gutters. That's all just wee bits of broken tile we've put on top, but now it's flowing again, we'll fill it back in. Never regret buying this, dad might because of the mess I'm making. Another bit. Okay, here is what the new entrance looks like with the tar on it now. Ties in lovely jovely. Oh, it's great. Here's the speed bump down here put this in just to stop it being a bit of a racetrack to be honest and then we basically put in a loop i'll go this way so we put in a loop of tar around this middle section there is a soak away drain just in here it's currently not working that well plan is i think to dig it all up and put a proper drain in and run it out over there there's a ditch over that direction so we'll probably do that i don't know whether the soak away is just silted up on the top and the water can't get away or whether it's just this soak away is kind of not fit for purpose anymore but this is the loop of tarmac ties into the old tarmac there so now basically we've got disabled bays here and all up that side and it's all flat tarred road straight into the entrance of the shops much easier the tar just finishes heading up to the top bank of car park up there it's usually absolutely fine for potholes just because it doesn't get used as much and it sits a bit higher so the water naturally drains off to this lower bit there we go that's the new disabled bays up there and away we go that's it New tar, done and dusted. We held off for quite a while doing this tar, and um, just doing any tar in general, because don't really want it to look like a Tesco's car park, because um, it's a farm shop. I like to keep things kind of rustic and farm-like, but it was getting to the stage that it was just, it was too potholy, and the alternatives to keep it kind of rustic farm looking, ah, they just they don't work that well in the harsh winters we've had. So we just bit the bullet, put the tar down. We're not putting big white lines down and marked out bays because it just looks more like a supermarket car park. Anyway, cheers for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe by the way. If you've not subscribed and you're new, click subscribe, it's down there. And a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Adios. <coughs>